If you feel like your child and your teenager is spending too much time on social media, on their smartphone, I always tell parents in our network of schools in Washington, D.C., turn it off. It is going to be painful. They're going to be mad. They're going to be angry. But it's almost as if we, far too many parents and families have become afraid of taking on their kids in this space, right? That's one solution, right? I'm not saying it's, it works for all families. The other reality is asking kids why they're so addicted and then helping them think through, do you want your 15 year old self to be seen when you're 30? So in other words, if you're putting something on Instagram or Snapchat that may not be appropriate, you want to be president of the United States or mayor of, of Palm Beach or county commissioner for, West, for Palm Beach County, that's great. However, if you put a video on Snapchat of you doing something you're not supposed to do and it comes up, you've derailed your dream because of something that you did when you were 15 years old. Not to say it's right, it's just to say that's the world we live in uh, with social media. The third thing I always suggest to families is how do you monitor their usage? Do you have their username? Do you have their password? And if the answer is no, we need to ask ourselves questions as parents and as elders in our community, then who's in charge? Uh, so I, I think that's where I would start.